Kroger presents Signing Day Spotlight, a video series profiling some of the top players in Georgia's 2021 recruiting class. And now, here are your hosts, Dog Nation's Jeff Sintel and former UGA All-American John Stenchcombe. All right, guys, we're in the war room. This is just one of Stenchcombe's guys. I mean, I'm going to say scholar, student athlete. I'm going to say he's a four-star He's a guy that, I mean, still just 17 years old. When you see this senior film that we're going to start showing, he's 17. He won't be 18 until like next October, I believe, uh, when he's in college. He's an early enrollee, Micah Morris out of the University of Georgia. He's going to have a 440-plus bench press. He's over 4'3", 4'4", core GPA. My, 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 John Stenchcomb, what, what, what stream, the, give me the stream of consciousness when you start breaking down Micah Morris. Well, Micah Morris may be a Matt Stenchcomb type player, but <laughs> I want him on my team. I mean, this guy, he's an interior lineman that's truly dominant. You watch the way he plays. He's so physical. Uh, you know, it reminds me of a guy like Carl Nix. Carl Nix was just a huge human, but the way he moves, you wouldn't, you don't realize how truly massive he is until he's taken these big D linemen, which, you know, he faced some bigger D linemen, not just your typical high school, you know, 215 pound defensive tackle. This guy could move just about anybody he faced up with. And that's what jumps out on the screen. Yeah. Bench press of 440. Watch him, watch him play. And you believe every second of that because physical, nasty, uh, can once he latches on to a guy, he wants to punish him and plays really strong. So no doubt in my mind that that carries over. Whatever he's doing in the weight room is working for him because on Friday nights, he's a masher. He's a guy who's got really good feet, but man, it, what, what jumps out first is his ability to just use that force and his mass to, to move anybody he faced. Here's a good one on uh, Micah Morris. So he was a retention recruit. And what I mean by that is he silently committed to Georgia and Sam Pittman, I think right around the Notre Dame game, right before the Notre Dame game in 2019. And then he has the divorce. He sees, you know, Sam goes to Arkansas. Great thing for him. And Matt Luke comes in and, you know, Coach Luke had to retain him. And I, I think that kind of gets lost in the shuffle about young man hits the reset button. But we, we stress intelligent. We stress conviction in his thoughts, convictions in his own instincts. And I think Micah just realized that, hey, I like Matt Luke a lot too, but still, I want to go play for the University of Georgia. He played for Camden County in South Georgia. As, as John just mentioned, that's 7A big boy football there in the state of Georgia. Here's what he told me, though. I want to get your instant thought on this. Uh, he's like, man, because everybody goes, he's rated as a tackle. He's an All-American as a tackle. You see a lot of versatility. And he's like, man, I just want to play. I want to help Georgia. If I can be the guy, he said he had a goal. He's like, I want to play every position across the line during my time at Georgia. I want to make myself adaptable. I want to make myself versatile. So when coach starts going, I got to get my best five out there, he can maybe think about Micah Morris at left guard, right tackle, center, right guard, left tackle. He wants to be that for his football team. And what do you, what do you think about that? When a guy that yeah, I think he's a top 70 player in the country, he's an All-American, how do you feel about an attitude like that coming into Athens? I love it. I love it. And I think you need it in today's game just because of the, the flexibility. And you see in Georgia's own recent history, a guy like Cade Mays who played all the spots, a guy like Jamari Salyer who probably projected as an interior offensive lineman is now the cornerstone at left tackle. And the way he's played selflessly um, has contributed to the success of, of the offensive line play that Georgia's experienced despite the fact that they lost three draft picks, two of which were in the first round. So I think you have to be flexible in today's game. You watch Micah play, and I think he probably projects a little easier to the interior than he does the, uh, than the edges at a tackle spot. But the reason why he's got that ability to flex inside, outside, is because he's got good feet. I mean, the guy can move. He moves really well, despite the fact that you know, he's massive. You, you look at all the different film of these players, and he's, he's arguably the biggest framed guy of any of the recruits or signees that Georgia has this year. Uh, so, you know, naturally, probably interior, but the way he moves, his footwork, his ability to move in space, it gives you that ability to say, well, if we need him at tackle, I wouldn't have any concerns about putting him there. 
And that's why he's ranked so highly, right? It's because, you know, one, he's big, he uses his frame well, but two, he's got that athletic ability to move. He can, you can use him in space. You can match him up against some of these outside linebackers that are just athletes and he's able to keep pace with them. So uh, you, you got to like what you see in film. And I love the attitude that he has, because I think that's what's needed um, in, in today's game. I'd also say it speaks volumes uh, to the hire of, of Matt Luke that you lose <clears throat> Sam Pittman, arguably one of the best or most well-known offensive line uh, coaches in the country, uh, specifically in the SEC. And Matt Luke comes in and he's a great hire. He, he re relates really well to the players um, and has developed guys in the short period of time that he's been in Athens, which I think is its own recruiting tool. If you're a young player, you want to go into a system where there's a coach in place that says, you're a really good player, but I'm going to make you better. I see where your weaknesses are. We're going to work on those, and we're going to get you to where you want to be. And Matt Luke, in a very short period of time, has answered a lot of those questions these recruits have had. Scheme question here, John. Does it seem like to you, like remember, Sam's guys were more Isaiah Wilson, Notori Johnson, Justin Schaefer, Trey Hill. What's the big theme so far through all our war rooms? Movement, movement, movement. How do you see these pieces, these building blocks of an offense, giving Georgia the ability to do more? To me, I think the screen game, which has kind of been absent, I think Georgia can get a lot of guys out on the edge in the perimeter, and the screen game should open up in years to come with these kind of linemen in Athens. I think the way the game has changed is – it's more wide open. You're using just as much horizontal plays as you do vertical plays. It widens the field. It puts pressure on the defense. And to be able to do that, you've got to have linemen that can move. You know, we talk about these guys getting on edges, getting to the second level, for tackles to be able to pull out in space. If you don't have that capability, it really limits the, the plays that you can call. Because if I'm calling you know, a tunnel screen, or a screen where I'm getting a tackle out on a cornerback, if I don't have a guy that's gonna, that has the ability to move in space, then it's a wasted play. I should just remove it from my playbook. And you've got a guy in Coach Munkin who's coming uh, from the NFL where there are athletic offensive linemen, where the systems that he ran, you're trying to create as many different uh, challenges for a defense as possible. And that means you've got to be able to move. I don't think we're in the day and time anymore where offenses are saying, uh, it's, we're going to put you in the phone booth. We're going to beat you up and challenge you to stop it. They've found other ways that light up the scoreboard. We've seen points, you know, continually each year, the, the amount of yardages that these offenses are able to uh, amount and, and points that they're able to scroll through on a, on a scoreboard is because they're able to open up their offense. And honestly, I think we're across the board, you're moving to more athletic offensive linemen that can move in space and create those opportunities for you. Mm. I, right there, guys, we're in the war room. I don't know who could tell you about these guys any better than John Sinchcomb. Sounds like Micah Morris is another one of those guys he'd want to go to war with. You're watching dognation.com going inside the war room with John Stinscom. Thanks for joining us. For more info on UGA recruiting, check out dognation.com. And a special thanks to our sponsor, Kroger, fresh for everyone.